What's going on guys? Um, I'm back at it again today. Uh, I'm going to be uh, putting on that pipe that uh, I taped up uh, last night. So <clears throat> today's going to be the, uh, the installation part. Um, now what I'm going to do first though is since I have that cat right there hanging. Um, I want to go ahead and uh, try to spray some carburetor cleaner in there. Uh, so yeah, if you guys can see that right there in the cat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some carburetor cleaner and, um, you know, get it cleaned out. Uh, that just increases my chances of, uh, you know, passing smog. Uh, once I get it, um, get it ready. So, uh, yes, I mean, I still got a few more things to do, like, you know, like I said, burning off the, uh, the old gas. But, um, I will be, uh, putting this back on first. And then, hopefully, that's the only holes that, um, the exhaust has. You know, uh... I didn't check all the other pipes, um, but when I took it to the shop yesterday, they they kind of confirmed it that it was coming from the middle, and so that's uh, that's the part that I took out. Now the other pipes in the car, you know, I didn't get to check them out, so I'm gonna put this back in, and hopefully that's the only holes that uh, that needs patching. So um, I'm gonna get right to it now. And I'll check back with you guys in a minute. Alright. Alright guys, I just uh, finished installing the, uh, the exhaust pipe back. And, um... <clears throat> so you guys can see... It's back on. Um, And uh, it's a lot quieter now. I don't hear any uh, any other leaks coming from the exhaust. So I think uh, those holes in the resonator were the uh, the only ones. So really, this is the only thing that you guys are are hearing besides the uh, the engine. Uh, and really um, putting it back on was easier than uh, easier than taking it off uh, taking it off was a pain because of all the uh, the rusted bolts and nuts but um, after you loosen it get it off um, that's that's the hard part uh, bringing it down um, but putting it back on fairly easy um, I would say I probably took 30 minutes uh, I just had a support <clears throat> that went under the pipe to raise it up so when I was bolting on the uh, the catalytic converter um, it was at a, you know, somewhat of a straight angle, so that when I tightened up the bolts, um, you know, they, they went on flat. So, you just need a support underneath, kind of like to raise up the, uh, the exhaust pipe, um, underneath, you know, towards, towards the, uh, underneath the car. So, uh, you need that you know um, that support to elevate it um, it makes you know uh, bolting up the, uh, the the pipe a lot easier but um, all right guys so I think that's it so that part of um, the car is fixed um, like I said she's a lot quieter now um, no more leaks so 
I think uh, the next part uh, would probably be uh, getting the brakes done. I'm not sure if that's something that I want to tackle. Um, it needs uh, two two front rotors, and you know these cars right here, Acura Vigors, they're not a, a floating what they call a the, uh, floating type uh, rotors. Um, these ones right here, you have to to uh, take off the whole hub, uh, the wheel hub, to get the rotors off. So I'm not sure if that's something I want to tackle or. You know, or I want to have my uh, brake guy do it, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted. But uh, for now, uh, I guess that's it. All right, guys, peace.